from The Passion at Home. Uh, we do custom upholstery and we also do custom painting. And I thought I would share a project with you and all the challenges that I have had with it um, and how to overcome those challenges in case you have those same sort of things. So basically, this is a customer's chair she brought in. It was natural wood and we have painted it a mix of pure and old white. So of course you know you could mix all the Annie Sloan chalk paint colors together. And what we've done is we painted it, we waxed it, and then we sent it off to our upholsterer to put this beautiful fabric on. And when it came back, it had some bumps and bruises on it. Um, but because I didn't mix enough paint, I can't just go and touch it up now. I actually had to remix and, um, and then just touch it up. So here is a, a tip. If you're mixing two colors of paint, make sure you mix enough or write exactly what the, um, the recipe was so that if you do need to remix and touch up, it's not gonna be such a problem. But what we've done now is we've repainted all this and now I have to re-wax it. And one of the benefits of using a wax brush is another little tip I thought I would share, is that the wax brush versus using a lint-free rag is going to use 30% less wax and it's gonna get in all these little crevices. Sue, can you see all the detail here? I'm using Annie Sloan's clear wax and the brush gets in all those crevices much easier than your finger and a rag. And basically you just want to wipe the wax on and wipe it off. And it's really actually hard to see the wax with white, whereas if you're using a color, the color will richen and you'll go, oh, I've done that. But with the white, it's very hard to see, um, but I, you can kind of feel it. Um, you wipe it on, you wipe it off. So definitely use a wax brush if you've got lots of details like this. Make sure if you're mixing paint that you mix enough or you write down the exact measurement. And the third tip is this particular chair had some bleed through and bleed through are like these little red dots that kind of come through. Excuse me. And what we can do, there's a couple different ways to block those. Um, and they, uh, they tend to show up a lot, obviously, with the white paint but I just thought I did have some bleed through on these and what I did was just waxed it and then touched up that area and re-waxed it. And that wax blocked the bleed through and then the new uh, paint on top just covered it up. But then again, you have to remember to re-wax. So I think I've covered a lot. So we've talked about mixing colors, mix enough, use a wax brush. Using having the proper tools does make a difference to the end result and blocking bleed through. Try any Sloan Wax first and then repainting it. And if you've got any other questions, uh, call us, come and see us at The Passionate Home. Have a great day.